ਸਿਕਾਲ Peacock lived in a forest. All the animals praised him. That made him proud of his beautiful feathers. Dip 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 it's pouring down. I'm dancing round and round and round. Dip 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 it's pouring down. I'm dancing round and round and round. Wow 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 wow. I am one and unique of all looking at me all does wow 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 Hey frog at least clap you are very proud of your beauty peacock one day someone will definitely bring down your ego hey i am peacock no one stands in front of my beauty One day while passing by a lake he saw a bird which he had never seen before huh? Oh what's that looks like a bird but why his neck and legs so long <laughs> Let's prank him Peacock went near that bird Hello. By the way, what are you? I am a crane. Crane? What a weird name it is. And your legs and neck are so ugly. Just look at my feathers. They are so beautiful and amazing. Crane smiled and shook his head. They are good to see, but useless. What? Everybody in this forest have affection on my feathers. Hey. Look, if you are jealous, just say it. I want mine. Really? You will feel bad now, my friend. Look at this. Crane was flying in the sky with gorgeousness. It looks like he was talking to wind. Ah. Oh, his feathers are fabulous. Mm, I can't even fly with my feathers. After some time, Clean came back. <laughs> so friend, how was it? So now you are not jealous of my feathers. <laughs> with my feathers, I can fly high in the sky. But you can't do so. Now you get it. Your wings are only good to see, but they are useless. Ah, uh, 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 your wings are quite unique quite good uh, uh, forgive me my friend i'm really embarrassed <laughs> well good good crane came and peacock's pride got vanished <laughs> so friends from this story we must learn that we should not boast our beauty The boy, the boy who cried wolf. wolf. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a shepherd boy named mm. Peter. Peter was a very naughty boy. He would constantly pull pranks on others and amuse himself. Hey, what are you doing? Why have you tied me up? Peter's father was worried about him. So he put Peter in charge of a flock of sheep so that he could learn to be responsible. But the boy remained as naughty as ever. I'm so bored. Wish I could have some fun. Aha! Wolf! Wolf! Save me! The village folks picked up their axes and sticks and ran to the pasture. Huh? Wolf! We need to go and help. And who will help me? Huh? What 
there's no one here. Peter couldn't stop laughing at the trick he had played on them. <laughs> Now that was fun! The villagers laughed from there angrily. After a few days, Peter wanted to pull the same prank on the villagers. Help! Help! There's a wolf here! <gasps> the village folks heard the cry and ran to help again. Peter made fun of the villagers and laughed aloud. <laughs> I fooled all of you once again. <laughs> oh, he is such a prankster. That boy finds all of this funny. Can't stop fooling around. A few days later, as Peter was resting under a tree and the sheep were grazing nearby, a startling noise was heard. Soon, a big wolf appeared, and Peter was frightened. Help! Help! Someone please help! The wolf will harm all my sheep! Please help me! The villagers heard the cry, but thought Peter was trying to fool them again. And so they didn't come. It's that boy again. We aren't gonna fall for his trick. The wolf started chasing all the sheep, and one by one, ate all of them. <laughs> Poor Peter wept all day, as he had lost all the sheep. <laughs> Liars are not believed, even when they speak the truth. Little Red Riding Hood A long, long time ago in a faraway town, there lived a sweet and adorable little girl named Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Her grandma gifted the little girl a beautiful red hooded cloak on her last birthday. <laughs> this is so pretty! Thank you, Grandma! Oh, the little girl loved the gift so much that she would wear it everywhere she would go. And so everyone began to fondly call her Red Riding Hood. One afternoon, they got to know that Grandma is not so well. Immediately, Mom made delicious hot chicken soup and fresh bread for Grandma. Mom packed the food in a small basket and gave it to Red Riding Hood. Keep in mind, Red, as you walk in the forest, do not loiter around and keep walking on the main path only. Do not talk to strangers along the way. Yes, Mom. I promise to go straight to Grandma's house. Bye-bye. Singing a merry tune, Little Red Riding Hood was passing through the woods with a basket for her grandmother. Huh? <laughs> Uh-oh! The wonderful aroma coming from her basket roused a wolf who was sleeping under a tree. Hmm, a delicious little girl. But where is she headed to? Well, hello there, little missy. Care to share some of your food with me? Ah, uh, so sorry, Mr. Wolf, but I cannot give you the food. This chicken soup is for my sick grandma who lives in her tiny cottage all alone. But wait! I can surely give you this apple. The grandma lives all alone. Hmm. I will eat up the old woman first and then eat this little girl. I must act craftily so as to catch them both. <laughs> w wait a minute, Missy. I know what can make your sick grandma healthy again. Really? What is it? Please, please tell me. 
Those strawberries over there contain magical powers. If you give some to your grandma, she'll recover soon. Oh, wow! Thank you so much, mister. I'll go pick some right away. Nice. Now let me head towards grandma's house. While Little Red Riding Hood was busy picking up strawberries for her grandma, the nasty wolf hurried towards grandma's cottage. He had decided to gobble up grandma, followed by Little Red. The moment she would come to the cottage, the wolf reached grandma's cottage and found grandma peacefully sleeping in her bed. Hmm, look at her sleeping so peacefully. Who is it? Why have you come here? To eat you and your granddaughter. <laughs> what? Get out of this place. Singing a merry tune, Red Riding Hood reached Grandma's cottage. But as soon as she went inside, she was baffled to see her huh? grandma. She went towards Grandma and asked, Oh, goodness! What big eyes you have, Grandma! All the better to see you with, my sweet girl! What a deep voice you have, Grandma! All the better to greet you with, my child! And what big hands you have! All the better to hug you with! Huh? Why is your mouth so large? All the better to eat you with! Ha 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 ha! After gobbling up Grandma and Red Riding Hood, the big bad wolf fell asleep on the bed and began to snore loudly. A woodcutter who was passing by Grandma's house paused as he heard the startling snoring coming from inside. Sensing that something was not right, the woodcutter headed toward the cottage. Oh heavens! This sly wolf is sleeping on Grandma's bed. Why is his stomach rumbling this way? Huh! Oh no! I think the wolf has gobbled up Grandma! Let me teach this sly wolf a good lesson. Woodcutter cut open the wolf's stomach and out came Grandma and Red Riding Hood. Woodcutter placed a large stone inside the wolf's stomach and Grandma quickly sewed up the stomach. Oh, Grandma, I was so scared. This bad wolf didn't harm you, right? My sweet child, I am all right, and I'm really happy to see you safe and sound. Thank you so much, young man. Three of them hid themselves outside the cottage and waited for the wolf to wake up. The wolf finally got up from his deep sleep. However, he was feeling extremely thirsty. Grr, why is my stomach so heavy? The wolf couldn't hold up the weight of the heavy rock in his stomach, and he soon slipped into the river and drowned immediately. Bye bye, big bad wolf! Little Red Riding Hood promised her grandma to never talk to strangers again. She also thanked the woodcutter with all her heart. Later, all three of them had lots of fun together, and they also enjoyed eating the delicious cake baked by Grandma. Thank you for saving me and my grandma, Mr. Woodcutter! <laughs>